hello friends in today's lecture travelology lecture we have to see how the process of journal bearing is textless in various stages okay so in this journal and bearings are the two parts so we are seen here case first in which the journal is in rest positions or the journal is in stationary condition case second in which journal is start to rotate okay journal is start to rotate means bearing instead of sta starting tends to climb up the bearings okay this and in third case journal is at full speed okay where it forms the eccentricity between the center of this <coughs> journal and bearing okay so there are the three stages in which our hydrodynamic lubrication we can study okay so in this case first journal at rest when the journal is at rest the weight of the journal squeezes out of the oil film okay so that the journal rest on the bearing surfaces that is in the initial state under the radial load the journal touches the inner bearings at point p and the metal to metal contact is established at p so in this case clearance there is no any clearance so radius of bearing minus radius of journal is always zero now come across second stage when the journal start to rotates okay when the journal start to rotates in clockwise direction inside the bearings and it will try to climb up okay it will try to climb up in the bearing wall due to friction up to point okay so up to the point this so that the line of center between these two bearing and journal comes to rest at an angle of response okay psi zero so here there is no any film thickness so the minimum film thickness at zero is always so zero in this third case journal is at full speed so as the journal speed is further increased it will drag the fluids okay it will drag the fluid into the converging wedge <laughs> so into the converging wedge here converging wedge shape zone which start to extend the pressure it increases the journal speed at a particular journal speed the pressure becomes sufficient to support the load and the journal is shifted to another sides of the particular positions and in this situation there is a minimum clearance created and the oil film thickness is minimum h minimum okay so the amount of rotation of the line of the center of journal and bearing from from the load is always depend on the following factors such as the magnitude of applied radial load the journal speed and the viscosity of lubricants so in hydrodynamic bearings it is not necessary to supply the lubricant under the pressure okay the only requirement is to ensure the sufficient and continuous supply of the lubricants the minimum film thickness of the fluid film increases with the increase in fluid viscosity and the surface speed of the surface speed and decrease with the increase in load so we are seeing here first second and third case in which the journal start to rotate at full speed from rest to full speed conditions okay so in this hydrodynamic journal theory bearing theory 
you see how the wedge film is formation is takes place between these two conducting surfaces. So oil wedge forms between this shaft or a bearing or journal due to the not being concentric. Okay, because there is always eccentricity. So in this theory, we have to learn two cases clearly reveals the mechanism of this pressure developments. Okay. So in this first case, when there are two parallel surfaces are in contact to each other's. Okay. So here we are seeing two surfaces. Okay. Here two plates, two plates are separated by oil film of constant field thickness H or Y and the length of plate is very long in Z directions, which ensures the flow to take place only in one dimension. Okay. The upper plate is moving with the constant velocity. This upper plate, top plate is moving with this constant velocity is U bar. Okay. And parallel to lower plate for no slip conditions. Okay. For no slip conditions. It is zero at the surface PQ. Here at the bottom, the pressure is zero at the bottom and gradually increases gradually and become equal to the velocity of this upper plate. Okay. As the velocity distribution across the film. So we can see here the volume flow rate of at okay the volume flow rate at this portion is always equal to the volume flow rate at this position okay so there is a flow due to velocity gradient and these are equal to the flow continuities which is satisfied without pressure built up okay so in the next conditions we are seeing here two non parallel plates separated by an oil film two non parallel plates so here one plate is horizontal another is inclined and these two plates are separated by an oil film so here one plate is kept inclined with respect to other plates and in this case the top plate is kept inclined with respect to lower plate and due to this inclination due to this inclination the conversions or converging oil film thickness separate the two plates which will cause different types of velocity distributions at different sections so the velocity variation at both the section can be assumed by assume to very linearly okay so assuming that particular section the velocity will be linear and such type of film is termed as convergent film <clears throat> the velocity in this terms is called as putty and uh, pressure in this term is called as pauchless okay so we can define this pauchless flow the velocity distribution for a fluid flowing under the laminar condition through a small clearance and maximum film thickness or at the other ends. Okay. So in this way, the pressure distributions or pressure mechanism in this journal bearing takes place. Okay. So Here we end our lectures. Okay, thank you.